Hello and welcome back to The Colony with Man of the Ants, continuing on with our driving school in Dart 2, or Dart Rally 2, I should say, today. So Kapil seemed fairly pleased with the progress from last time. I'm just going to have to lift my headset slightly out of the way. So yeah, I seemed pretty pleased with it, although I didn't do all that well compared to the rest of the races. I did improve from uh, 555 to 428, so that's over a minute, about a minute and a half improvement, so that's pretty good. He had a little bit of advice on using the handbrake, which I haven't been using too much. I will say he has uh, made a point of saying it should be on the opposite side to the... Uh, the gear stick, which it is. The, the gear, the handbrake button is on the right-hand side of the wheel, so I did think that through. Well, no, no, I didn't actually. The game thought that through, and that's where the game put the handbrake button. So I guess, hope you're not an American driver and have the stick on the other side, right? Uh, he's also suggested doing a bit of a slower run in a uh, shakedown before we do the actual timed run at the beginning, so we give ourselves a, a slight advantage where everything isn't entirely new and unusual to us when we do, when we see the next track. So for the car for the next track, he suggested the Alpine 110 1600S, a rear wheel drive, and the location, the Tiawanga Sprint Forward, Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. So let's go to free play, let's go to custom. We're going to create a championship, we're gonna add an event, we're gonna to go to New Zealand. Um, we want to look at the vehicle, don't we? So we're looking for the... I forgot what it was called already. Where is it? Alpine 110 1600. Alpine Renault A110 1600S. There it is. Equivalent to the uh, Fiat 131 and the Ford Escort Mark II. So we'll go with that. We'll say contain, confirm even. And then we'll try and figure out how it is we actually change the... Uh, the stage. How do you select the New Zealand track that you want there? Why is it never as, as obvious as I might think? So there's edit. Oh, there we go. Right. And he suggested the Tiawanga Sprint Forward, Hawks Bay. That's the reverse. Tiawanga Sprint Forward. We will stick again with a nice dry surface on a clear day. So this track is relatively short, 2.98 meters, a bit of an elevation change, just a little bit uphill compared to uh, the previous tracks, which have been quite flat. And we'll just ignore the surface intervals because we're not too bothered about that because we're only going to do one stage anyway. So let's hit confirm. Let's hit start. And let's pick ourselves. Is it that one? Ooh, hello. Okay, that looks quite fancy, doesn't it? All right then, so I need to get back in the racing mode, clutches and not using the paddles and braking appropriately so you're not an idiot. It's a beautiful place, beautiful place. Right, so we'll do a, a shakedown where we will do a quick look around the track where it's not too horrible. Uh, my, I've, I've broken my reset view button, so I'm just gonna do a reset view very quickly in the menu. I seem to be too far... Uh, I leave myself, no, I leave myself back a bit, don't I? Leave myself back, hit the reset button, go to continue. That seems a bit better, that seems a bit better. All right then, so let's hold the handbrake. Five, Clutch in, four, accelerator down. Three, Car feels small. One, go. Didn't put it into first. It's fine, I didn't put it into first. That's not a problem. So there's a fairly sharp corner there to start with. A one left immediately, which is uh, quite nasty, isn't it? Four left, don't cut. Into three right. Into Four cut, left. Don't cut, three left. So this is the time you can take just to enjoy the scenery, really. Where you, it's not, where this, the uh, camera's fairly steady. It's not just me trying to hair around and handbrake around corners. Unseen. Don't cut one left, Titans. And then I do that, of course. I actually stole the car. And yeah, I haven't, I haven't got my racing mode down yet, so it's probably good that I did this. So I'm definitely not, uh, definitely not up with it. There's a two left. That's quite sharp. Oh, the car's weird. I don't know if the other cars have been. Have they all been uh, forward-wheel drive before? Because it and turn three right. 
it does feel a bit more, uh, a bit different compared to those. I mean, of course, it is going to feel different. It's a very different sort of car, isn't it? Maybe four, right? Oh, these green hills and everything are beautiful, aren't they? Like I say, this is the chance to really take it in because there's one lonely guy just stood there. Into three, right? So when we're doing this properly, it's going to be a little bit all over the place. Stop. Well done. Well, that's it. That is very short, isn't it? So that was only 140. That was 140 without us really even trying at all. And we stalled. That is super short. Okay. Okay. So, let's give this a go then. Again, we're going to ignore all the vehicle settings. We're going to put the car into first this time, like Starts you should. One right, very long. Opens 30. One left tightens. Good luck. Yep, thank you very much. Okay. Already thinks we're in first for some reason. There we go. Actually, you can't actually change the gear out of first in the. Uh... Doesn't matter. Anyway, into first. Is that just. Flipping out position? I think I'm okay. Right, handbrake on. Three, two, one, go. Straight into second. Got this long one right immediately to contend with, which is really just weird when you're trying to actually race. Then into this left. Okay, okay. And then don't cut. Oh. Wouldn't say it went perfectly though. And then there's another one. Ooh. This is why I could pill pick this course, I tell you. It wants me to try using my handbrake, and I have been too scared to do that so far. Don't know why I attempted to go into third there. That was weird. So as long as I beat the shakedown time, it's embarrassing if I... Uh... Well, does the shakedown give you a smaller sort of track? Does it only give you the first sector? I guess it does, because it looks like this is... Going to be significantly longer than uh, a minute 40, doesn't it? Okay, okay. It is just the first sector, isn't it? Three left. Okay. Into three right. Opens thirty. I'm scared now. It's longer than I thought, and I'm scared. Hairpin, bit of, bit of. Oh, I tried using it, and then I went into. Uh, oh my word, no. Oh no, where's my reverse? Where's my reverse? There it is. Well, that's added. If we take five, five, ten seconds off our time, we'll take five seconds off our time, and we'll use that as our benchmark, I think, because, uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. Actually open out a little bit here, which is nice. And then some threes. Opens. Hit the four left. Opens very long. Tightens over crest. Ooh, that back end likes to flick itself out, doesn't it? We're just going to slow ourselves down on the bank there, as you do. Into two left, Titans don't cut. Into six right, and three left don't cut through narrow. Ooh, it does, it does. Opens up a crest. Ooh, didn't hear him say the gate, wasn't listening. Titans don't cut. Yes, I should have been listening. And then we'll probably have to go Into down a gear right. here, will we? Probably just Into grind the gearbox a bit, why not? Into five right. 20. Really don't feel like I've had my accelerator Four. down right. fully very much at all here. And we've got a long two, which we should be power sliding around, but we've messed it right 20. up. Keep right of a crest, turn unseen open heaven left. So I think we will continue to basically ignore the handbrake. Although I immediately hit it there, thinking that was the, ha the uh, hairpin, but it wasn't. This is. Right of a crest. No, I'm just not, not, not very good with it. Oh, now what's now what's going on? Now I need to knock ten seconds off our time. Oh, where? What's our reversing against there? I wonder. I don't know. So this is a. Fairly terrible first lap, but I guess that just means that we're going to be able to really improve on this time, doesn't it? Into six right, 
Uh, six left. Into two right tightens. Into two this, left. This car feels a lot nippier than the others. I know it's a, a smaller little... Uh, Into four right. Opens of a crest. Like a little race car sort of body, isn't it? Rather Just than the uh, slightly bulkier estates we've had. But it does feel nippy and it feels quite claustrophobic. It's quite small. Not that that's a bad thing. I made that sound like that's a bad thing, but you know, I quite like the way it feels. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. Into one right. Okay, so that's three times we've stalled. I heard there's a one right coming up somewhere. Oh, look at the curb. Twenty. Six right into slow one left tightens. Into one right tightens. I thought that was the end. And not the end. Seventy to stop. There's the end. Oh, well that. I actually need to go stop by the marshal. You don't need to normally need to do that in the uh, timed, timed courses. That's why that confused me. Oh my word! Where's the? It's going to recover me. And have some spare time on this road section. <laughs> Let's check the car and tires. Ooh, I mean I had some spare time just left over from that. So that was. Oh, it's because I didn't do the time trial. That's why I had to go to the marshal. So we'll go to the 4.56 is our time there. I will go to the time trial now so I actually get the ghost to go against because that is useful uh, going forward. Yeah, that's why I normally, I normally do that at the very end. I almost deliberately ignored their times, which is good. So I don't actually know uh, what it is I'm going to need to aim for, which is probably a nice thing because I was probably, you know, going to get nowhere near that. Right, so we'll do a time trial. We'll do the same thing. New Zealand. Teowanga forward. Daytime. And the... Uh, was it that one? No, it wasn't that one, was it? That one. There it is. Cool. All right, then. So I'm going to crack on, have a few runs of this, try and improve my time, try and learn this course a bit, because it is a tricky, tricky course. And then we'll be back in a little moment to take a look at, uh, yeah, just how well I do. 4.56, we need to remember, because we're not going to have that on the timing screen, I don't think. Left, well done. Titans don't cut. Yeah, so I realised I picked the wrong course. I thought it seemed a little bit long when I was doing it then. That one's seven miles. I wanted the sprint version, the three mile one. Let's try that again. Three right of a crest. Into three right. Opens 30. Something doesn't feel right at the rear. Is it a puncher? Into three left. Into turn two right. Opens. Into two left. Oh dear. Cut. Well, I've got to say, this one has proven to be a lot more challenging than the previous one. We've got it down to 3.54, which has knocked about a minute off our initial time. Their initial time was terrible. That was pretty much, I think that was the first lap I actually had where I didn't have any major incidents. I didn't have to stall, I didn't have to restart from a stall or turn the car around or... It was a relatively smooth, if not fast, run. So 3.54.87 we ended up on. So at this point... I've had a fair few runs, like I say, it hasn't been massively successful, but it is a lot more challenging. Uh, it, I think one of the problems is that, um, oh, let's get the right car. Is that it, it, it doesn't have the way, uh, the waypoints or the markers that the um, previous map, like the previous map had the town, so it's quite easy to say, oh, this is this bit, this is this bit. So when I was talking through the last one, as I'm, as I'm sure you remember, it, it was like, uh, you know, oh, on this, I know this is coming here, I know I can go fast around this corner, this is very recognisable, this is this. This is not like that. No, no, no. This is a lot more difficult to get in your head. It's a very twisty course. You can see on the map there, really. The beginning bit's very twisty. There's got that sort of nice flowing bit through the middle, but the end bit gets quite twisty again. So the beginning third and the end third are really, there's a lot of hairpins in there, which I just cannot, I've tried using the handbrake and it just, I just cannot get it to work very well at all. 
I also am basically at the stage now where I'm not braking at all in this course in this car. I don't brake. I, I haven't touched the brake in the last three attempts. And I find that Starts oh, that's maybe a lie. Maybe I tap it as I come up to a couple of the hairpins. But really, it's a very rare occurrence. I rely, rely much more on engine braking and just the general elevation braking. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure I'll get told off for that. But <laughs> Five, four, it's the best I can do. So we're going to do this then. See if we can get a nice clean lap. So straight into second, pretty much. We've got this initial hairpin that I have got quite fast before, but I wouldn't say that was it. Also, a little bit of jittering going on. So this is the first. Oh, there's our first gear crunch. So that's a hairpin. That's us off the course. Not even a hairpin. It's a, a one, I think, wasn't it? A one or a two. So right. So <laughs> this is. What I mean, this course. It's so tricky to get a clean run. Well, that was a bit slow. That was a bit slow, and that was a... Oh, I'm going to start that again. That was terrible. I'm going to start that again. No, 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 no. Oh, right. I'm also not sure if I've got a speedometer anywhere. I've got no idea how fast I've been going. It feels quite fast, and then when I was doing the uh, time trial and I was racing against my ghost, and my ghost was ahead of me, my ghost didn't look like it was going that fast which I thought was quite concerning. He didn't seem like he was hairing around the corners. Into three right. Into caution, don't cut three left. He seemed like he was having a bit of a nice leisurely drive. That's bad, that's bad. Down into second, or down into first even, because on a bit of a hill. Opens into turn unseen. That should be second. Oh, yeah, that's the double hairpin at the beginning. Oh, I mean, yeah, like I say, this course is proven to be a lot more tricky than the previous one. And having to do it whilst talking, and also the performance has dropped down quite significantly compared to when I was doing it. So right at this point, as you can probably see, it's got really, really jerky which is really not helping matters in the game which requires some quite fast reflexes. Opens 30. Open hairpin right. So I guess that's the uh, oh, open hairpin. That must be the motion smoothing kicking in and uh, freaking the game out a little bit. So it seems to smooth itself out again now for the moment. Oh, my gears this time have been terrible. I've got my gears down quite smooth previous to the recording. Into turn two right. Opens into four left. Opens very long. Tightens over crest. So you can see that our first sector is a nice big into fat red sector. Long. Unsurprisingly. Opens. Whenever he says don't cut, it's so hard to not do that. Two left. Oh. Tightens don't cut. <sighs> Honestly, this course. So I've got it down to under four minutes. If I can get a four minute run again, if I can beat my time, obviously that would be quite useful, but. Four, three, two, one, go. One right, very long. If I can get just under a four, I'll be happy with that. One left tightens. So we are gonna break a bit, we're gonna go down to one of the things I have had a bit of an issue with, yeah, I felt quite smooth, I probably wasn't very fast. One of the things I've had an issue with is not changing down early enough. So trying to get to the corner and then breaking and changing down all in the same little moment. And as soon as you're trying to change down on a hairpin corner, your car just, just doesn't turn, it just flies forwards and you lose all of your ability to turn the car really. So you probably notice then on that hairpin there. I've got a little bit used to changing down, in theory, when I'm uh, paying attention, changing down relatively early before the corner, so I'm not in that situation where I'm freewheeling the car in neutral as I start turning, because that's where I really have problems. Now, it says you can maybe cut this, but each time I cut it, the car just goes all over the shop. So I really try to avoid it. You can get into fourth a lot quicker if you do, but I think the time that I seem to lose trying to keep the car on course 
is a bit of a way. So we've got the hairpin that time. We managed to hear that one. A little bit of a drift around the end of it. A little bit of an unnecessary drift there. Should be able to get back into fourth here. I haven't hit fifth gear yet, which I'm guessing is probably a problem. I probably should have hit fifth gear. But as I mentioned in the uh, initial run that I had, I don't even spend, seem to spend much of the crack really with my foot all the way down. It's always kind of up and down off the accelerator. Oh my word, I was lucky to survive that. Ooh. So there's two left Titans, so I am going to go down into two, although that was actually fully unnecessary. Didn't realize I was there. This grid hasn't caused me any problems yet. So of course I had a bit of a panic that was going to really cause me some issues. Into six right. Into don't cut for left. And then there's a few don't cut areas here where you get these quite nasty little ridged banks on the side. And a few of my attempts I just 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 sort of clipped them. Didn't even think I did that much. See that was where I changed down a little bit too late and it Yeah. Probably coming in a bit too fast as well. And then that coupled with the going into neutral just before the corner. Oh dear. That's not great, but that's fine. At least we didn't stall. Didn't stall, didn't crash. That's I'll count that as a win, to be honest with you. Into five left. That's probably still got a chance of getting a sub four minute run time. Even with that mistake, because it wasn't the worst mistake in the world. It's two left Titans, so I should be at least in third. Probably in second, actually. And the number of times I have crashed in this last sector as well. That wall has caused me a problem before and a couple of, or at least one puncture, one puncture I can think of. There is also a corner right at the end. See, it's that kind of, I was a bit silent after that, but it's that kind of uh, collision. It doesn't seem that bad, but this one, this one. Oh yeah, I have punctured my tyre there before and been unable to limp across the line. So it's not a sub force. So we will give it another go. Oh, wasn't a bad run. Wasn't a bad run. 407. We'll see if we can do better than that. Ended up 12th by the look of it, which isn't actually too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Compared to some of the runs that I've had. Or like the last one where I was in like... 19th, 20th, something like that. Yeah, I think uh, 13th is all right. 12th, 13th is all right. The Arbeth Rally really seems to be the car you want for this, isn't it? 359 is the top. I got like, well, my best was like a 350 something. So if I can get a sub four, I should be in the top three, which I know I can do. I am capable of a sub four. So let's have another go and see what happens. I did, I thought I was really terrible at this course, to be honest. I thought my lack of ability to, uh, power slide around the hairpins and get into fifth was really holding me back. Ah, that's weird, went into fourth there for some reason. See, I thought I'd be pretty banging at that first section now since I've done it so many times. Yeah, I need to not cut that hairpin because I do uh, do get caught. I don't bother changing up between those two because there's not really much point. So my general rule with gearing is three is the main gear throughout this course. Only go down to second gear unless you really need it for the uh, ones. Ones or the hairpins get at second gear. And then if you're lucky on these slightly uh, more open areas, although I messed up because I didn't go into gear, you can get into fourth. So I'm two seconds off my, or off the best time there, not my best time, I guess. I guess that's the, yeah, my next best competitor. 
So I deliberately changed down late there because I didn't change down early. So I deliberately slowed myself down in fourth around the corner. Which is with the gear I left myself. I wonder if that's just a four gear car. I don't even know if it's got a fifth gear. I'm not going to try and experiment now to find out. Into turn two right. Opens into four left. <clears throat> Opens very long. Tightens over crest. Ooh, careful. Long. Careful. Don't cut. Opens. Nice and gentle around here because it seems to be so easy to spin yourself out. Into two left. Tightens don't cut. If that's the worst thing that happens this course, I'll be okay. But I suspect it will not be the worst thing that happens this course. Into six right of a crest. Into three left long. Titans don't cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obviously, because I'm uh, strapped into VR and trying to race, I don't have the ability to hit the mute button to uh, cough in solitude like I normally do. Opens over crest, into four left, slow 20, keep right over crest, turn unseen, open heavy left. So that's a little, f yeah, it's always further away when he says that unseen, open heavy left, always further away than I think it's going to be. Three right over crest. Well, that wasn't bad, I've definitely done that better, but I've also done that left. significantly worse. Four left long tightens. Into six right and six left. Into two right tightens. Into two left tightens. Try and keep away from the inside. Right. We've got those nasty little bumps. Into six left long. Into five right long. Tightens three. Right. Miss that wall. Because that's always troublesome. And in a minute. There's that one. Into slow one left tightens. This is the problem one. So I am going to slow there. Actually got a nice little slide around that. Quite happy with that. Oh, we are so close. So close, so close, so close. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, one second off. One second off. Well, that's pretty much two clear runs in a row. I'm quite happy with that, really. Having two runs where I didn't do anything horribly wrong is a pretty massive improvement on where I was to start with. So yeah, I could have, if I, I could probably, given a good run, because 3.56 now, which is pretty similar to the last time, isn't it? If we just hit continue and continue. I wanted to do the replay, really, didn't I? Oh well. Um, yeah, sick is pretty good compared to where we were. And a good run would see us through quite nicely there. I want to say, let's go to Hawks Bay, to Angus Sprint Forward. I just want to see what my uh, best time is. Is it going to tell me? Is it going to tell me? Yes, I know all the details. Thank you. Leaderboard. 505th in the world. 3.54 is my stage time. So I could actually get to see, uh, definitely into third with that and creeping up towards second as well, actually. And we're 38 seconds off the uh, fastest time. I guess in this vehicle class as well. I guess that's not just in general. Like against the best vehicles. Nope, there is a guy in a Ford Escort, SVG97, who is 38 seconds ahead of me. That is... Very fast. Can you actually... Oh, well that's filtering, isn't it? I wanted to see if I could... Uh... Oh, select ghost. So oh, you can get his ghost. So you could watch how he does it as well, which could be quite interesting. Oh, all right then. So I did want to have the replay like I did in the first video to talk over at the end there. But um, yeah, I, I come out of it to see my time. But there we go. So I think that's quite an impressive... Bearing in mind how bad I thought it was on that course as well, I really didn't think that was all that um, 
I didn't think I was that impressive on that course. I thought I was really struggling. Particularly, like I say, with my markers and trying to learn the course, I found it a lot more difficult to, to see what was, to remember what was coming up based on the landmarks. But overall, compared to the previous track, which I thought I did quite well at, time-wise, we did very well there. That might be something to do with the car setup. It could be that the car setup of the previous car of default was very bad at that track, and the default for this one suits this track quite well. Could be something like that, of course. But yeah, quite happy with how that went. So I'm going to leave that there then. So there you are, Kapil. Hit me up with your next challenge if you don't mind, and I'll see how I'll do there. Hope you think I'm improving somewhat. I still I completely ignored the handbrake. I think I tried the handbrake two or three times during my whole attempts at that, and then I thought, no, if I'm not even going to use the brake, the handbrake is just not an option right now, is it? So I hope you enjoyed that at home. If you did, do click the like button. Always appreciated, of course. Subscribe if you've not already. Questions and comments down below. As I said, Kapil, let me know what it is you think I should be trying out next eagerly await your next little bit of advice don't forget i do stream on wednesdays and it'd be wonderful to see me there we started off a new series of surviving mars so we've had one stream so far that you can watch on the channel if you need to catch up and i've got some ideas for what i do next for what i want to do next so come along and see that it'd be great to see you otherwise i'll see you next time in direct rally 2 for my continuing driving school with the teacher kapil and as always thank you very much for joining me